Oh snap, and welcome back to the second Wizard Wednesday. Today is June the 5th, 2013, and let's go ahead and get started. We've got Talon here, as you can see. I've done a little bit of questing and changed up his outfit a little bit, so yeah, he's looking pretty sharp. So there are a couple of things that we have to do here that really will help get our character set up for the future. So let's go ahead and jump in. I hope you guys are doing all right. Let's go ahead and start things off here. We're going to go to the crown shop. We're going to, we're going to buy some wings. I don't know which one I like better, this view or this view, but I like the, I think I like this one. It helps me find things a little bit better. If I can sort things right. What am I looking for? Mechanical wings. Yeah. Bam. So let's equip him. Well, if I can hit the right button. Boom. There we go. Looking pretty snazzy. What do you think? Some people suggested that, or somebody suggested that I buy the poopy manta ray, but I just couldn't do it. Just could not do it. Look how fast I am now. Alright, so there's something else we need to do before we really get into anything. And that is pick our secondary school. Now this is a really big decision because although your main school is determined from the second you start your wizard, your secondary school you have a lot of say over. Now I know I mentioned that I really thought about doing myth, but I just don't know that myth is what I'm wanting to do, what I want to get out of this wizard. So it's tough, it's tough. Let me first, I've got a couple, I've got a quest here to find these little bros. I think, I think I already found him here. Okay. So it's really hard to pick your secondary school because ice is very defensive. And I'm saying that pairs with the defensive abilities of ice. But it's hard. It's really hard. See, fire won't really work. And storm won't really work because storm is high damage but low accuracy. And although that in a way pairs with what I'm doing with ice, it's not exactly what I'm hoping for. Secondary balance school is very odd as well. That would go good with my high defense and high life. Power pip chance. I haven't gotten into power pips, but I won't be getting those until like level 10. Hmm. So I'm thinking either balance or death. So let me... Let me go back to the death guy and really think about... I think he's... Well, he's on the opposite side, of course. Uh, it's so hard. She looks pretty rough. I think I'm going to go with... Death. Because... I like the colors, and I like the way the armor works. I like what you get shields to. Yeah, I think this is what I want. I think I'm going to go ice and death, because I'm cold-hearted of death. You know how it goes. So, yeah, we're going to train these up. Yep, thank you. I'm going to train here for this one. And so we had two training points. Now we have zero training points. And now we can assign them to my deck. I don't want these, though. Not really. Okay, so I want one less freeze. One more of these. And that's all I have, so let's go ahead and throw in the third one there. Oh, I guess we can just do everything. Eh, we'll be fine for now. Alright. So now that we have ourselves in place, I've upgraded my equipment a little bit. But I'm still only level 5, so my equipment's still kind of crappy. And we're going to just jump into some quests here. Yeah. Quests. I am tired. I am not recording this until late. I should have recorded it earlier, but... Eh. Today's been a really long and crazy day. So... It's been fine. It's been a good day. It's been a really good day. But it's just been, you know, those days where you, you end the day and you're really tired and you're like, wow, what a full day. That is today. Absolutely. Wait, is there... 
Oh. Let's see this. I am Balder Goldpaws, a trader from far off Grizzleheim, and I've just discovered this world. I have sailed across the great sea of skies, establishing new ports to trade my wares in. I would like to establish trade relations with the merchants here, if they be friendly. Can you help me? If Prospector Zeke is here, go speak to him. Then speak to your treasure card dealer and anyone who sells furniture. If you can yeah. do that for me, I will be thankful. I don't want to take that qu that quest there with that woman because I don't like it. <laughs> it's really boring and I'm not doing it. Alright, so I like this quest a lot. I like the bears. I like the way they sound and the way they look and their world is pretty cool. I'll get there eventually, I suppose. As you can see, I'm still friendless. I have no friends. I have no friends online. I have no friends, period. Um, yeah. Oh, I need to be going to Prospector Zeke. I like the wings as a mount because they don't hey get in the way at all. Wizard. How's it going for you so far? Howdy. You explain that Balder Goldpaws ask you to help set up trade relations. That's great. Old Zeke's always happy to do business with the bears. <laughs> Tell Balder I'll trade That voice acting. Let's see if I can set this. Yes. Do 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 do. I don't have a lot to talk about. I do have things to talk about, but I'm just so incredibly spaced out and Hello focused on this qu on this quest. Welcome to the library. Can I help you find any book? book? You tell Mr. Argleston about the trade agreement, Bob. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I would be happy to trade treasure cards with Grizzleheim. I wonder if we can set up a library exchange program. Hmm. All right. What was I even talking about? Oh, okay, so good news today. Um, yeah, so I haven't really talked about it, but at my university, I've talked about how I want to study education, right? Yeah, that's been something. I want to go into, I want to be a middle school math and science teacher, so I'm crazy. And so my university had not originally accepted me into their program to, to study that. And so I was going to go to another university, and I prepared everything. I would be in BM. You tell Mr. Let me Quick do this real quick. About the flying. That's great. I offer a selection of furnishings from across the spiral. Adding imports from Grizzly yeah, yeah, yeah. will certainly be good for my business. Okay. So I had prepared everything to transfer to another university, and then they called me and was like, "Hey, yo, so we're going to look at your file again. Send us your transcript." And it's just been a mess. Uh, School has been a mess <laughs> this past year. It's been a little ridiculous. So I really am glad I started up this channel because it's one way for me to kind of just kind of move myself away from all the craziness of life. Oh, this part I like. Did you get agreement from the three merchants? Good. You have brought two. I would like to reward. Would you like to take a quick trip with me to visit Grizzleheim? You can greet some tradesmen from Grizzleheim. In Grizzleheim, speak to Thrain Stormfriend. Vider Silver Thread and Dane Gold Right. Mm -hmm. Let them know I sent you with word of new trade partners. All right. So yeah, they called me and were like, "Hey, we're gonna look at your file again. Send us your stuff." And then I got an email from them today saying that I actually would be able to study education at my university. So that was really good. The program at my university is really small, and so they're kind of selective, and it's a little crazy. So I'm really glad that I get to do that. So yeah, here we have Nick Jonas from the Jonas Brothers. Hey gang, thanks for checking out my music, and I hope you enjoy the new Winter Tusk area of Wizard 101. See you in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently he worked on the music for this stuff, and you can listen to all the little tracks here. They're really good. They're really, really good. This is actually one of my favorite areas. Alright, so we actually can't do any quest or anything in this area. They're all blocked off by giant bears. And this doesn't even actually count as you visiting the world. This just counts as an actual side area of 
Wizard City in the game, and I think in the programming is the way it works. I'm actually on my main character, I'm in this world right now, and it's really fun. You look like you could use a new room. Before he tries to sell. That sounds like a great idea. Sign me up. You yeah, and now we can actually shop from him. We're willing to trade. That's better than what I have now for AMP. But the thing is, is that I really want to go for HP because I'm an ice wizard, and that's just what they do. You there? Can I interest you in a? You explain. Hmm. Huh. Trade with the wizard <laughs> city. I can certainly do that. I will have to get some smaller sizes in stock, though. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see here right now, they you can get some pretty interesting armor, but what I've got ice armor on that really helps my what HP. What can I you explain that you're from Wizard City? Sounds good to me. I'll trade with anyone with gold in their pocket. What is this helm? Hmm, I like the helm. I like the helm a lot. I think I'm going to buy it. So I've been doing this black and brown. I've been thinking about me doing brown with red, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, right now I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go brown and black for now. Let's see, 20 max HP or 3. I'm not really going to be running into ice enemies right now, so I don't know why I did that. So yeah, we'll just do that for now. Put that hat on. And fly away! Whee! Fly through the fire! Or not. Okay. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, it doesn't do it. Somewhere there's a rainbow bridge that plays music as you fly across. We can't go in there or anything because this is actually Grizzleheim. We I actually really like having wings. This was a very good investment. Very nice. They are in agreement then. Good news. We have done well this day. This Ready day. Yourself. It was a pleasure working together. I wish you well in your future journeys. You may be unable to return to Grizzleheim right away, but when you do return, your visit will be marked by kind words and open hearts. You must be at least 20th level to return to Grizzleheim. So the way the chat works is you actually can't type numbers because then you can like give people your address or phone numbers or something in theory. So you have people do things like, like I'm on the 14th level, so like 4th team level and like weird stuff. So that's just the way it works, I guess. Alright, so now we fly back, we get some experience. And we are going to start in on the Train Avenue quest, which is the next chronological quest in the game. So we're going to show off some, a, a new area, new enemies. Last time we saw Wizard City, or Unicorn Way. This time we're going to see this area. We're not going to fight these guys right now because, as you can imagine, with an MMO, I'm going to have a quest to kill like 15 of them. So I actually don't know how many. So glad you came. I've been trying to get someone to help me, but the guards are far too busy with all the events of late. The headmaster sent you? Great! My brother and I can use the help. We are trying to stop all the undead that broke down the gate from the haunted cave and invaded the area. My brother Arthur went on ahead to check out the haunted... Could you go see how my brother is doing? He should be just inside the haunted cave. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's identified the dark presence responsible for Wizard City's troubles. Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh. I think the other little, yeah, so you have to find these little hidden guys and you get extra training points which help you train for more spells, so they're definitely worth finding. Down there's a boss that we can't fight yet. Teleporters. Oh, oh my. Oh, and this guy here. I sure I'm glad to see a fresh face. The undead have brought along my crows beautiful that are face. spoiling our crops. We need to build some scarecrows to scare those crows away. First thing we'll need is some cloth to make the scarecrow's bodies. The cloth can be collected off the Scarlet Screamers. Can you get some cloth for us? Scarlet Screamers are kind of a pain because they're pretty strong. Especially since we're only level 5. Let's see, what are they fighting? Oh, okay. Well, that's not what I was planning to do, but that's fine. We'll jump into our first battle. So I have edited my deck substantially, so let's... 
Shroff, some different things. So Ice Wizard gains this really early on and I was very surprised. I was not aware. I can stun them and she won't be able to attack now for one turn. Which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But you can only do it once because that shield that floats around her is actually a stun shield. But because I did that, I can then hit her with this because I saved up for a second pip. Yeah. And she's a myth enemy, so she's going to use some myth attacks. Or not. That works too. See how much health she has. Oh, I don't have a strong enough wand to take her out yet. Let's use our new dark spells. Or death spells, rather. And she's down. Oh wow, I was not aware that these guys could use a spell as strong as Cyclops. Oh, she's dead. Oh, well that's the end of that battle. Okay, because she died. And then I get back in the battle with the same Scarlet Screamer. But of course it heals because it's a new battle. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I don't have a pet yet, which is rather sad, and you don't really get any ice pets for a long time, so... <sighs> I might not get a little companion with me for a little bit yet, but that's fine. It'll be fine. Pets don't really do anything, especially early on in the game anyway. Alright, so let's, let's just kill this guy in one hit. I have an amulet on that gives me this more powerful ghoul card. And so I'm going to use it to heal. I don't need to heal, but just to take him out, really. I'm using your own kind. It's a storm enemy, but a death card, which I think is interesting. Yep, yeah, there he goes. Hmm. I wish this guy would help me out here. That'd be great. And he doesn't have text chat, so I can't be like, hey, fight. And of course, they're only going to attack me. What was that? Never seen that mount before. Oh, these people on brooms and someone flies on a giant green thing I've never seen before. Hmm. No, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, I saw that he picked a card. Oh well. I wish I had something funny to tell you guys, like a joke or something. Okay, I do have a joke. How's this? So when I was in high school, I went to high school with this girl who always told one joke, and it was her one joke. And every time she was like, hey guys, I have a joke, it was always the exact same joke. So, here's the joke. Two antenna on a roof got married. The wedding was terrible, but the reception was great. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's a terrible joke. But, you know. It's a joke. <laughs> so I think I've got to share with you guys today. Actually, at, at my, I'm working an internship in education actually this summer, and I'm working at a school and I'm helping out with just different things around the school. And this afternoon I was moving furniture all day. I was carrying tables and chairs and uh, benches and just all kinds of things. And so after my internship, I came home and I was so tired that I took, uh, I took a nap. <laughs> and so <laughs> I never completely woke up from the nap. And now I'm just kind of like, well, let's play Wizard 101 and not think anything at all. So let's see what this guy has to say. Yeah. Okay, so eventually I'll get a quest for pets stuff. And training pets is absolutely the worst part of this entire game. It is extremely monotonous and they grow way too slowly and the payoff is really, really small. 
for the work that you put in, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Seriously, I hate it. You find a broken wand just inside the haunted cave. Ooh. So now we have to go back and be like, hey, we found this thing. Yeah. Did we finish that other quest? I don't even know. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah. Okay. We've got a few quests that we can't do just yet. And you guys probably aren't even here to really pay attention to the quest anyway. If you are, I apologize greatly. Because I'm just I'm just not even not even. I was afraid I wouldn't even get this recorded today because I just I've been busy doing stuff all day long. And then I was like, oh, oh, it's after it's after 10 p.m. I should probably probably record. Yeah, well. Most excellent. These will do just fine. Now I need you to gather some straw. Oh, well, what up? I think I saw some field guards hiding out in the haunted cave. All right, so we're we'll not going to go there just yet. Them. We are going to maybe go this way, maybe. We. Do 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 do. Did you find him? Could you talk to Duncan Grimwater? He's a little snobbish. A but little he snobbish, might have a clue yay. As to my brother's whereabouts. Can you check with them, please? This guy's a total douchebag. Merle Ambrose sent another student to help out? I guess he thinks that Susie and her brother cannot handle this situation. Well, that's what happens when you send storm students to do a death student's job. I'm leaving. Susie says that her or brother not. is missing? Ha! I think he is hiding back at Ravenwood. But I'll check around and see what I see can what find I mean? out. See what I mean? This guy's a total In the meantime, I can jerk. do some help with my field studies. I need to Can't find out the fighting him. tactics of the undead. No, I would do it myself, but uh, I just ran out of treasure cards. Oh whatever, Should this guy's such hard. a loser. Just defeat some haunted minions and rotting fodders. Report back to me afterward. So these guys aren't really hard. Oh yay, we got friends. I wonder if I can talk to them. Well, I don't know. No, nope. well, I can talk to, what's this guy's name? Oren? Alright, so these are unnecessary. I need some more to join the battle, so I'm going to wait it out. Okay, well now I should be fine. The turn-based system is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And he fizzles. Hmm, hmm. So yeah, basically went back to... I'm just not even paying attention to what's going on anymore. But back to what I was talking about before is that I was afraid that I would have to leave my university and all of my friends and stuff and I'd already made plans and told people and all that stuff and now I don't so yeah I'm really excited I'm actually really excited I'm tired right now but I'm actually really excited and happy but I know I had talked about not living in a dorm anymore but I think I am actually just because that's where most of my friends are so, yay, background noises in my recordings forever. I'm working on getting better audio, though. You know how it is. You know how it'd be. Except maybe you don't. But, it's whatever. Hmm. Things are exploding all around and I have no idea what's going on. Haha, <laughs> we're, we're the team with the most. <laughs> if you look at the bottom, the first letters of each of our name, it's like Malorn, Oren, Seth, and Talon. So it's M-O-S-T. We're the team with the most. And we got this chick here in the middle. What's her name? I can't see. It's not gonna, she's going to dance. Oh, great. 
Fantastic. This guy's healing. Healing me! Oh, oh, can I talk to this guy? I should tell him thank you. Thank you. You said you're welcome before. That's kind of rude. Oh, well. It's an MMO. You can be a lot more rude. <laughs> Emily, we don't want you. You don't fit into the team with the most. You do not belong. And you're a woman. Get out. <laughs> Wait, what's... Why are we still fighting? What's up? I mean, you can't really have a conversation with menu chat. You should focus. That doesn't even mean anything. Oh, we both have... Beetle? Snow Beetle? I'm not entirely sure what the card is called now. I can't even think. We got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of garbage. Please may I join. Oh, we have to defeat five of them? Oh, jeez. Alright, after this battle, the video might be about 30 minutes. And I think I'm going to call it because I need to, if I want to get it edited and rendered up even remotely around when Wednesday still happens, it'll need to be taken care of. So I think after this battle I'm going to call it quits for the night. Kind of tired anyway. Yeah, it's a... Keep, I might keep these to be about 30 minutes. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. No, other than I move furniture at work and I get to stay at my university. That's pretty much all I really have to talk about. That and I'm working through Titan Avenue. Triton Avenue is uh, the last free-to-play area in the game, so if you're playing the game, you don't pay anything at all. When you finish this, there is still a, a few more quests. A good, uh, you get right up about to level 10 through the quest. There are a couple bosses and things you actually do and go back, and there's a little bit of backtracking involved. Um, but after you finish that, then you have to pay to get to every other area in the game. Oh, come on, Malor, you're slacking. I think he was waiting on enemies to join, but that's whatever. So yeah. Oh, we already know everything. Oh, that's exactly... Oh, that's how tired I am. It's dead. Yeah, and we get a coat. A useless coat. Defeat rotting fodders. Oh... I'll head back that way. That way when I start back, because I'll probably train off screen again, but that way when I start back I'll be a little different in a different place. Oh what the heck, we'll fight, we'll fight. One time. Come to me. I am just outside the dual arena on Unicorn okay. Way. Maybe later. Oh, oh, oh. Dirt. I resist dirt. Come on. Heather Frost River. Very interesting name. The names people come up with in this game are either really interesting or just really not interesting at all. I uh, see my I can't even I can't even talk about anything important right now. Come on. It's Malorn doing this again. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So something cool is getting ready to happen this turn if Malorn will do anything. Nope, okay. That's fine. I'll explain it when it happens. You may have already seen it if you were paying attention. And you know anything about this game. Alright, so take out the guy with the shield. Goodbye. 
Alright, so see here is what he is doing. He's summoning... So now we're going to see how the summon system works. He summons a haunted minion, wooden construct, living puppet type thing. It takes zero pips to summon. And I still use the summon. I am like almost level 40 and I still use this basic summon. And I like it a lot. It just casts really basic spells. It has it, only, it can only take one hit, but enemies usually don't attack it. And that's what I like about it a lot. Come on, Digby. So living puppets, they don't cause more minions, they don't cause more enemies to appear, but they count as a friend on the battlefield. And there are multiple different types of summons, and they get stronger and do different things. And every school ends up getting different summons, but a myth school gets multiple summons. You can only have one out at a time. Uh, if there were two people, you could have two summons, but if the myth guy casts another summon, it overwrites the summon he's already called, even if he was by himself in battle. They're very useful. Alright, so she's not attacking me and that makes me happy. Again, I really like this game. I've always really liked this game, and I think I always will like this game, even if they do ask for money all the time. <sighs> it's That's the only thing. I'm really not a fan of the free-to-play setup. But, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. If you like a game, you'll pay for it. And this should be the end of the battle. She's gonna scream and fly away. Or explode or whatever. And I need to defeat three more and I'm not going to do that with you guys here because that's boring and you're probably already pretty bored from this very beautiful video of great commentary. A plus for commentary forever. Can I wave with this goodbye? See ya. Have fun. I only have a few minutes. Sorry, I have to go. Bye. Let's just go. Let's go take care. Take care, guys. Take care. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.